Hey guys and welcome back again to me Ben playing CD Skylines 2 today in Fairbanks County. In my last episode and I just want to give you a quick recap. I started like creating a new highway connection to the district over here. Here you can see the highway kind of ends in this roundabout. Um, I made sure to yeah define the fertile land area that I have here and I started fading out this more densely populated part of the city. So in today's episode I'm gonna focus on creating a rural or at least outskirt like area here. Planted a lot of trees just because of the reason that I didn't want to take care of that after I set down a few more yeah, building zones for residentials or commercials and office zones. I just wanted to make sure that I'm utilizing the space here as well. And here I actually want to create something like a little park. Uh, initially I thought about integrating a um, lake here. But to be honest, getting the water from over here to over there or from here to over there, I should have pre-planned it kind of so I didn't and I refused doing that. So before we get started, I also want to thank you for joining me again in my episode here. And this is going to be episode 14, 12, 13 or 14, if I'm not mistaken, of me playing in this region. And yeah, I want to thank you for joining me today and yeah if you haven't followed me yet please consider leaving me a like leaving me a follow here activate this little bell button and yeah stay tuned for more episodes here thanks very much and without any further ado let's get started
now I reached milestone 13, huge city. So what this brings me is 3.6 million, something I don't need. Obviously 13 development points and 24 more tiles that I could unlock. Let's have a look at the progression panel. Like everything, I guess after reaching the small city status, it's no longer interesting to be honest. So I'll just continue with building out and decorating this new region or district here. And suddenly I get a new signature building here, the fuel plant. Um, I'll quickly take a look at that for sure. Because I want to find out like what's, uh, what is the reason for this. Um, so I'm quickly checking here my new signature building. Still the film act mention. It's some industrial thing. Unfortunately, I don't know where this is. Oh, maybe it's a level five. Uh, industrial manufacturing building why this came actually up so i am wondering if fuel plant uh, would be nice to have really nice to have but i'm just wondering where this might fit in would that be a good location probably so i'm trying to establish that quickly just think about that uh, no curved tool so I'll try to set this up right now uh, in this part of my city just to ensure uh, maybe I also should use a one-way road here or a two-lane one-way um, not sure no, no, that's too wide I might lose something here this is the one lane one way it's also quite wide to be honest yeah, maybe I'm just giving this one up here and I'm changing this here, this here, that here as well into a one lane. That's perfect. So hopefully that gives me enough space and room for that fuel plant here. It says in water. Okay, that's something we can easily fix by just leveling that part here a little bit further out so that the fuel plant easily can be set up here in that district. Nice. Good. So let me check. This causes a lot of medium, yeah, medium air pollution. Medium ground pollution and medium noise pollution. Um, but also reduces minus 5% industrial air pollution um, citywide. Minus 5% industrial ground pollution and plus 2% industrial efficiency. That's nice. Uh, it's not the... Do I have any... No, no additional buildings, but that's fine. That's good good that I have established it now just wondering am I missing here something except for the film actors mention let me see whether I can integrate it here somewhere somehow at least in a way so that it might make some sense I'm sure pretty sure a film actor yeah however let's set it down here why not for now? Maybe he will relocate at some point in time. So I'm continuing with laying down my city here and my little districts to densen the population a little bit. And I think like with all this decoration going on and the more densely populated houses, you can see it's finally becoming like good or at least decent zone and district here that looks way more reasonable uh, reasonable to what i had before like this here this looks very much empty but that doesn't 
but these are outskirts 100 these are as well but i want to create a nicer a better transition here as long as i yeah as long as that works for me so i'll continue and i'll be back for you in a bit
was so far. I would say I like this outcome of this part of the city, uh, those few districts very, very much. Um, I'm just about to set up a new um, district zone here. That's most likely going to go from here. Well, let's include everything over here. That's fine. That's good. Perfect. So that's established Bedford Field. Very beautiful. Energy consumption. Um, more recycling. Roadside parking and speed bumps, obviously. I want to crank up the roadside parking to $15, probably. 212 pets, 1,750. Oh, 1,171, but it's currently decreasing. Maybe due to the fact that the parking fees are a bit high. Let's keep it down at 10. Maybe that should be fine. Let me see what it looks like here. Energy consumption, recycling, roads for parking, speed bumps. So that's good. That's kind of a gated community here. Yeah, average wealth is quite wealthy. That's good. Beachwood Dale, wealthy as well. A lot of pets here. Up to 13. That's fine. So I'll keep it like that for now. I want to thank you guys for joining me again. I think this was a really nice episode where I showed you some of my techniques, how like I work whenever I want to rearrange the location of a building site in City Skylines 2, which can be essential to be honest, because sometimes the distribution of the building areas or available building areas is still a bit strange kind of it's not as easy to yeah make sure that the buildings are all aligned uh, where you actually want them to be so you have to wake, work with pathways at least for now as long as we don't have like a tool for that that allows us to yeah, kind of change the orientation and whatnot. So, but either way, like have a look at that. I'm just removing my UI here. Um, yeah, look at that. It's, it's a nice, beautiful district. It's small, it's cozy. It has a lot of alleyways. It has a lot of like pathways for citizens to walk and even cycle maybe at a later stage and some roundabouts and whatnot so it's it's beautiful i think in the next episode i will focus on that lower part here i want to get that finished and done uh, so most likely these are the last buildings here those might be the last buildings there so i'm just about to fill these areas up then I also want to make sure that public transport is available, obviously, because right now, I think, as far as I remember, I do not have any public transport here. No, nothing. So I could even introduce a few taxi stands here, um, but I think I don't even have buses available there. Um, so I'm not 100% sure about that already makes the whole traffic situation a bit more difficult in that part of town than it actually should so let me just check no no bus stations uh, all over the place so everything here is basically without any bus stations which is kind of unfortunate because i obviously want to get my citizens to use public transport as much as they can as long as it's affordable, it's not about making money. You can see I'm making 240 something thousand every week, which is way too much actually 
um, for what I need even in the near future like even if I built a few of these um, yeah special buildings here but also the I'm just wondering where it is the entertainment stuff is it there yeah there are some landmarks they can get a bit more hefty fun from a pricing perspective but that's okay that's fine i can afford it for sure um so maybe here we'll have some amusement area or amusement park like thing at a later stage but for now i think we're all good and this city is kind of establishing a nice little cozy neighborhood here before we are actually fading this out into a more industrial area with a direct highway connection hopefully that's enough but i'm already like i already brought down my train connection here which will definitely come in handy i'm 100 sure about this so maybe that thing here will be taken care of next episode and the train connection and probably the whole agricultural area as well so thanks again if you like my videos if you like my content if you want to keep me going please share with me your thoughts and also consider following me here it keeps me going thanks a lot have a nice weekend and have a good one bye bye